Design Shop has a feature called Use Fill for Stitch Lines Greater Than or Use Satins for Stitch Lines Less Than. And how that property shows up depends on which kind of stitch type you have selected. Um, what that can do for you is if you're using satin stitches that are starting to get a little bit so long that they might snag and pull out, it will start sinking uh, needle penetrations within the form and, and creating kind of a random patternless fill that looks very much like a satin stitch but won't snag and pull out. When you're dealing with a fill stitch, when you're starting to get to areas that are so thin that sinking stitches within the form might start to cause you some thread breaks because you're starting to create stitches that are smaller than your needle, um, it will become a satin stitch and go over that edge to prevent those thread breaks for you. Um, really, really handy tool, but how it applies might need a little bit of visual explanation. So let's take a look and see how that actually does apply. So um, for the first, first part, let's look at this M. So I'm going to zoom in here and you can see in the areas where it's the widest here and here and here. So let me clear that, but you can stay looking in those areas. Um, you'll see that it's starting to sink stitches within the form and it's doing that again via that, that property. That property, let me right click and go to properties and go to top stitching. That property is located right below um, all kind of your, your density information and that's right here. And so it says use fill for stitch lines greater than and this is 60 points by default. Um, if you are doing something where you do not want that to kick in, you can enter a zero into that area to disable it. So um, if you were doing something where you needed those longer stitches, um, you can either up that number, so you might take it up to like 120, something like that, or if you just didn't want to worry about it, you could put it to zero. So for something that is very decorative that you want those longer satin stitches and it's not going to snag and pull out, great, you can disable it. If you're doing something like 3D foam where you have that foam that can uh, kind of hold your stitches up um, and you don't want to sink stitches inside the form so that you're pulling that foam down, you can disable it. But what it's doing right now is anytime those stitch lines get longer than 60 points or 6 millimeters, it is sinking stitches within that form. So that's why you see just in those wider areas um, that, it's, that it's putting in that fill stitch. And it is putting in the fill information that's below it. So it is, it is putting in a patternless random fill with a stitch length of 50. So that works fairly well. They're longer stitches. They tend to have a very satiny look. Um, so that's going to kind of help you out in as far as the, the transitioning of the look of the stitch. Um, but it is going to, to sink those needle penetrations and, and keep it looking a little more satiny and, and stuck in the fabric instead of snagging and pulling out. If I were to increase the size of this M a little bit, uh, you can see that it's starting to come in a few more places where it's becoming longer than 60 points. So use fill for stitch lines greater than is uh, what shows up when you have a satin stitch selected. If I select a fill stitch, so I just grab this blue circle in the back, um, it is now use stitch line, or pardon me, use satin for stitch lines less than. So in this case, it's 20 points. And for here, for the majority of the area, it's using just a normal fill uh, with you know your stitch angle and your partitions and all that kind of normal step information. As, as I zoom in on this really tight area, you can see that it's no longer sinking needle penetrations. You lose that kind of stitch brick pattern um, because it is so small that, that sinking those stitches in might cause you problem. If you want to increase when that occurs, you can bring this number up. So I might take this to something like 30. And you can see that the edges just extended out. So now I'm, I'm kind of here to here, wherever it is, kind of that 30 points. And again, this is to kind of give you a smoother sew out, um, prevent thread breaks, that kind of thing. All right. 
So those are kind of the, the big tools for you as far as um, when to swap out stitches on smaller elements or, or pieces of elements um, that you already have digitized. Uh, now that you kind of understand a little bit about how these work, um, you can manipulate the settings if you need to, to to better fit your needs. The defaults are there mostly to protect you from thread breaks and from stitches snagging and pulling out, but once you get familiar with that, you can definitely uh, edit those settings to, to fit your needs.